Welcome to First Aid Air Gun Reviews. I'm your host, Lou, and today we're doing a quick shot review. We're going to be reviewing the Gamo Gun Buddy. It's a sling for your gun. If you don't want to drill holes or your uh, air gun doesn't have any mounts or you don't want to avoid the warning, because I bet you if you drill holes in your gun, that will probably avoid the warning. Anyway, we're going to check it out, see if it's any good, and uh, see if it'll give you a break when you're walking through the woods. You know, carrying that gun all day. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a look at uh, what we get here with the Gamo Gun Buddy. Uh, as you see here, it says it easily attaches to all air rifles. And uh, we'll try out uh, several different air rifles here and uh, let's see what's happening. This is the front part of the. Uh, sling is it has like a, a leatherish type uh on the inside there uh to go around the barrel and uh i guess that's to uh make it you know hold pretty good uh it is fully adjustable for length uh that's a look at the uh, padding on the uh upper part of the sling there's some pebbling there to keep it from slipping off your shoulder Again, some more adjustable uh, length here on the uh, back end here. This is where you would uh, adjust it for the stock. You just kind of pull it down, open her up, and then uh, push her back up. Let's uh, see how we can uh, do this. Here we go. All right. As you can see there, that's going to go right over the barrel there. It has that little leather inside inside there kind of makes it grip I'll just push it up here nice and tight on the back end loosen it up so it'll go around the butt of the stock find a spot where you can hunker it down get it nice and tight and uh, next thing you know you're in a uh, fashion show check it out seems to be working no look ma no hands so far so good and uh, let's check her out here not too bad seems to be uh, pretty secure on the barrel here especially because it's got this lip on with this particular gun uh, same thing here it got a nice lip here this thing is definitely staying staying secure on this particular rifle with this particular setup uh, it does say that it's universal fits any air gun. I'm sure it does, but whether or not how secure it stays, let's uh, check it out. Let's go check out another gun that I got and uh, we'll see how that fits. All right, I'm not gonna bother and show you how to put the uh, sling on each gun. I'm sure you guys can figure it out yourselves. Anyway, uh, th this is another gun. It's the uh, Crossman Legacy 1000. This is another light gun. So these are my two lightest guns or pumpers. Works the same on here, man. It's pretty secure. Yeah, this will slide up and down, but really kind of, you just make it snug. It's really not going to go anywhere. Same with the back. It's got a nice little lift to catch on. You just tighten her down. This is a lightweight gun, though. Like I said, it only weighs probably, you know, three pounds, two pounds. But uh, holds up nice. Definitely worth uh, for, you know, having a... Uh, Lightweight pumper gun, there you go, man. You definitely uh, can't go wrong with the gun buddy with uh, you know, the pumpers. Let's check out another gun, uh, something a little heavier. We'll go to a Springer and see how that holds up. All right, try another gun here. We got the Swiss Arms TG1. Same thing, keep it secure on there. Uh, even with being a brake barrel, it's still okay. Doesn't really get in the way or anything. Uh, because this, you know, Stock has so many nooks and crannies. It's really, really easy to put on this gun. It's, this gun here weighs, I think, around seven or eight pounds. It's not, uh, you know, super crazy heavy, but it's, it's a heavier gun definitely than the pumpers, obviously. Um, seems to feel okay. Uh, check it out. You know, moving around, uh, pretty secure. So far, this thing's turning out to be pretty, pretty handy. Like I said, if you don't want to drill holes in your gun and avoid the warning, uh, most people probably don't even care about the warning, I know. But, you know, if you do, and you, I guess if you do any kind of modification, you can avoid the, avoid the warning. So it's a great solution. But, you know, obviously, drilling a hole in your gun isn't going to have any effect on the performance of the gun, uh, as far as I know. 
But anyway, so uh, let's try another gun. We'll get uh, some with a little different stock, and we'll see what happens, and uh, check it out. All right, we tried it on a uh, gun that we haven't reviewed yet. That's coming down the line probably a few weeks from now, uh, probably two, three weeks. Uh, we got a uh, Benjamin Titan. It has the thumb hole stock. Of course, the barrel, same as secure. It's got that little bit of leather padding. It's some sort of leathery material that grips. It does grip it on there pretty good. Now, the thumb hole stock, I don't know, man. It fits. It, it's on there. It is fairly secure. You know, I would use it in a pinch. Uh, you know, maybe if you know you knew you were going to be out there. This is in, this is a 22 cal, so if I'm out hunting in the woods, I would have to use it um, the way the gun sits now, anyhow, without adding anything uh, to it. So it, it does feel fairly secure. I just feel like on just the way this stock is, there's no nooks and crannies to grab onto. Uh, it's kind of flowing here. And if it makes it pass here, it's going to just fall. Um, it'll work. I don't know if uh, I would trust it for everyday use. You could definitely get away with it. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure you're secure. Check it every now and then. It will work. It just feels a little, little iffy for me on this one. Let's go check out one more rifle, a Springer, something a little more traditional looking, and uh, we'll see how that feels. All right, this is one of the early on review guns that I uh, reviewed. It's the Ruger Airhawk. It's actually turning out to be a pretty decent gun. I've seen some uh, good reviews, some bad reviews. So far, mine's turning out to be pretty decent. Anyway, it has a more traditional look to it and stock. Fairly secure. Like I said, you just got to really tighten it down there. And it's, it's you know, it's going to move like that, but that's about it. Um, same here. It's not really going to move. Uh, this gun's about seven, eight pounds. I'm not sure exactly, but you know, like I said, it's definitely heavier than the pumpers. Uh, I like this. Feels more secure than uh, with a thumb hole stock. Uh, I think I could walk in the woods with this for a while. I'll, I'll always, in the back of my head, I'd probably be checking the strap no matter what, just because it's not on swivels or anything like that. Anyway, um, so far so good. I think. Uh, that's all the rifles I got right now. My daughter has a Ruger Airhawk Elite. Um, anyway, uh, overall, let's get a uh, let's get a synopsis and see what's happening. All right, what do I think of the Gamo Gun Buddy? Uh, it definitely does what it says. Uh, you know, you don't need any any uh, equipment, swivels, nothing like that. No drilling. Uh, especially with light guns like pumpers, multi pumps, you know, plastic guns that only weigh a couple pounds. That thing is awesome, fits great. You can really snug it on there. And because they're so light, there's any, barely any pull on the, uh, on the on the strap position. Anyway, it does f definitely fit so far. Every air gun that I own so far, even the uh, TG1, but uh, it actually fit that better than I thought it was going to. The uh, Titan with a thumb hole stock, a little iffy. I think it'll do the job. Uh, in the back of my head, I'd be worrying a little bit, but I didn't have any problems. But uh, you know, out in the out in the woods where you're really moving around, not just walking around your house, uh, it may slip. But if you keep an eye on it, you make sure it's secure. Uh, you know, that's the way to go. And you know what? Honestly, what you could do is secure it and then zip tie around right there so it doesn't have a chance to slip. That's a way you can get around that and just snip the snip ties off. Uh, you know the ties off when you're done and we can put on another gun if you want but because I do like this uh, I got two of them and I'm probably going to catch, get a couple more probably every rifle I get it doesn't have any mounts on it for a couple dollars I think it's ten bucks you can't beat it it's fairly comfortable it does have a, a little bit of foam padding here uh, I'm sure all day it'll wear on you but that would be with any any strap really to be honest with you because it's the weight of the gun that's going to just wear on your shoulder. But the, it's fairly comfortable. I give it a thumbs up. It's something I recommend for sure. Uh, it just makes an easy way to carry uh, your gun that doesn't have any mounts or swivels you know, with a sling. There you go. Everybody, have a great day.